Welcome to CAU IMSN MP Collector Probe 2.x. This video will cover how to configure a remote hub for the SNMP Collector Probe. To begin, we'll take a look at how to select the correct probes and cues on the hub, and then look at how to set up alarm forwarding, to ensure the correct information is exported into the UIM system. Now first, if we look at our alarm console, we can see the probes that we need to have on this hub. This is a secondary hub. Our actual main hub is this, the PM robot here in this system. And in this, we're going to be using CMSOL 11 as our remote hub with SNMP collector on it. So we're seeing here that we have alarm enrichment, baseline engine, the discovery agent, a hub, the NAS, PPM and prediction engine, as well as our SNMP collector and our pole agent. Now we need to have some, some setup here on the hub to be able to make this work. If we look at our infrastructure manager here, because this functionality is not in admin console yet, we need to actually open up the hub GUI and the NAS GUI to be able to configure this properly. So if we look at our hub GUI, we can see that there are queues and name services. Now the first thing that's important to have, and you can't even see your hub if this isn't enabled, is you have to have a name service entry for your main hub in here. Now this is normally done during installation of the hub, but if for some reason you do things backwards, this needs to be set up. It can be added into the configuration file or done from the main hub towards this one. So it doesn't really matter which hub it, this is on, it needs to be there. And then the queues that we need are a queue for the quas messages, quas definitions and quas baselines from our remote hub to our main hub. In this case, our PM robot hub, which is our main hub. And then we also need, very important, we need a probe discovery queue. In this case, this is a post queue. These are both post queues because they're on the remote hub. We're posting to the main hub. So we can see both of these are set up in that same way. That is important and things will not work properly if you don't have these queues set. You can set them on the main hub going this direction in which case they would be get queues. Either one will work but they need to exist. If we go to the NAS now we need to look and see that we have replication working properly. So in the setup section go to the forwarding and replication tab and you can see this is already set up but you would want to set up new and then find the destination. In this case, I've already used this, but then we also want to make sure we have all alarms, all alarm events in both directions. Okay, that's already been done here, bi-directional going to the PM hub, and so this should be set up to work properly. Okay, now realistically, that's really all it takes to set this up and have it working properly. For more detailed information about how to configure the SNMP Collector Probe, refer to the documentation wiki, or visit the UIM community to join in the discussion. The links can also be found in the YouTube description located below this video.